Hey guys, it's Tech Sketch here. My name is Sam. My name is Caden. And today we'll be going over our top 10 things we want out of the Nintendo Switch. So with no further ado, let's just get right into the video. And uh, yeah, so basically number 10 is uh, what we would like to see is a few more Joy-Con uh, colors slash uh, desi designs or anything like that. Like if they had any some sort of special edition ones like Mario themed Joy-Cons, mm -hmm. we would think that'd be pretty cool. Even more colors like if they had purple yeah. or like any different type of colors like that, we think it'd be really cool. Yeah, like what I think would be cool out of that, like almost like what Xbox is doing, like you can customize your own controller, like your buttons, your triggers... Yeah, the, the shell. I think something like that would be yeah. really cool. And also, if you could, like, maybe even just put a picture around it. Yeah. I think that would add a lot to it. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like Xbox Design Lab. Yeah, that, that, exactly That'd, like that'd that. be pretty cool. But anyway, so on to number nine. Okay, so this one is a game. This is Overwatch, uh, probably one of our favorite games. And I, I think it would just be really cool to bring your experience from, like, your computer, your Xbox, your PS4 from that just to anywhere you would want so yeah I, I think it would be cool if you could like link your account because obviously a lot of overwatch players are kind of hardcore is in like they don't want to switch platforms and lose their skins their progress like that so if you could link your blizzard account and then just bring like your exact same profile from your pc to to your switch mm -hmm. i that's i what i think we well, that's what we both think would be really cool. Yeah, especially going to a friend's house and be yeah. able to play it together because it's kind of hard to bring a mm -hmm. PC. Like, that, that's what we play on. It'd be hard to bring a PC yeah. to a friend's house. Yeah. But the only bad thing is that you'd more so need Wi-Fi yeah. connection unless they made a campaign or something like yeah. that for the Switch or just for overall Overwatch. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, on to number eight. Uh, we thought it'd be cool if they introduced... A new slash improved dock, you know, mm -hmm. like because the dock now it's great. It does what it does. It does what it's supposed to do. Switches yeah. it from your portable tablet mode to TV or monitor or whatever you're doing, and uh, it does what it's supposed to do. The only thing is, it gets hot, yeah. really hot. Like so, like they even like when we say improved, add some fans or some uh, yeah. heat and ventilation. Yeah, like it's really bad right now. Like. Even if it's half an hour to play Zelda, you pick it up, you want to go, like, lay in your bed and just play before you you go to bed. It's, like, it's not comfortable to have your hands, like, on the back of this hot mm -hmm. piece of plastic. It's just not comfortable. And also, like, there has been some instances of it actually bending after, mm -hmm. the, after the heat because it's plastic. And, you know, heat, it, it's a bend. Um... So, yeah, yeah, it would be really nice to have a new dock. Or even, uh -huh. like, maybe, like, whatever in thought when it was announced. Like, it would have some sort of, like, um, some, like, s s it would give it, a like, a boost almost, right? So, they would have some components in it. Mm -hmm. uh, like, right now, it, everything's in the tablet. So, maybe if they added stuff to it, like, yeah. and then that could maybe make it more powerful, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, also if they just add a few more USB ports or something like that. I love what they did with the cable management sort of thing. Yeah, me too. That's really cool. On to number seven. Okay, so number seven, we put this one kind of low because it's not like we're looking forward to it because we think it's going to happen. It's more we just, it's kind of in the we back. Hope. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, it's in our back of our head and we, like, every now and then we'll think, like, hey, you know what would be cool? If we could use these Joy-Cons as, like, a HTC, um, Vive, whatever yeah. you call those stick things. And especially if they made their own kind of, like, headset thing, because yeah. it has a screen, which is so easy, mm -hmm. pop it in, take yeah. the Joy-Cons off, and imagine. Yeah, like, I, it's not, like, my most wanted item. But I think it would be cool to have a VR experience. Like, of course, yeah. it's not going to be powerful or anything. But just to have, like, a little taste of VR. That'd Especially be cool. imagine if they made a mode for Zelda where you could use the VR and yeah. the Joy-Cons. That would be so amazing. Or one for Skyrim when that comes yeah. out. That would be really, really yeah. cool. Well, we can always dream for that, though. <laughs> yeah. So now, on dream for the six. stars. <laughs> uh, yeah, so for number six, what we would love to see... We would really love to see it. It's it's only a little lower because there's a few more important things that could be above it. But uh, is an eShop backwards compatibility. And what we mean by that is if we could have some of the best Wii and Wii U games available on the shop that you mm -hmm. could play on the Switch. It would be amazing. Yeah. Or the ones that are would at least be able to be compatible with the Switch. Mm -hmm. Like some you need the gamepad, obviously. 
but obviously a lot of them you don't. Yeah, like when they um announce like once you're gonna have to start paying for the Nintendo Online or whatever they're gonna call it, I really don't know. But mm -hmm. they're every month there's gonna be um an NES game that you can just play for that month and it's free and it's free of free of charge for that month. So I mean that's already like a start to it. So if they just expanded mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. Playing all your favorite Wii and Wii U classics, such as Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy yeah. 2, S Smash Bros, that would be amazing. Yeah. But anyways, on to number five. Okay, so number five would be an official battery bank or battery case. Yeah. So obviously everyone everyone complains about the battery. Well, personally for me and Caden, we don't think it's that big of a deal, like... We we're not. Oh, we we think it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, yeah, to just like to play two to three hours of Zelda, <laughs> and not like, it's better than not be able to play portable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially and especially how for small it is, yeah. it's really good. But imagine if it could last it for another three or by chance whatever it could be yeah. three, four, five more hours mm -hmm. by putting like some sort of Mophie type case on it. Sure, it yeah. might make it a little bit bulkier. Yeah, but I think we could, I think everyone could go, go buy mm -hmm. that and deal with it. Or not even a case necessarily, like a official battery bank. Yeah, like something that would charge it up as fast as it can. Yeah, that'd like that, nice. we think that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Okay, let's get on to number four now. Yeah, so number four, basically, what we, uh, what we were thinking is more for the bundles. Like, if they came out with a bunch of bundles, like game bundles slash accessory bundles mm -hmm. or something like that. Like, uh, when we say game bundles, we mean, like, the Switch comes out with a certain game. Like, if they had one that came out with Zelda, or if they had one that came out with, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, included, like, no extra cost kind of thing. Yeah, like that. And, uh, so, yeah, that's what we mean by game bundles. That would be really cool to see, like, mainly what Xbox and PlayStation does with their top hit games, like Gears of War 4 and Uncharted 4 yeah. and stuff like that. But, uh, another cool one added onto that would be accessory bundles, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so that would pretty much be like, let's say, like, everyone's seen the starter pack, right? So let's say your Switch came with a case, it came with a screen protector, maybe even, like, another controller. Like, something like that, <laughs> I think, would be would be mm -hmm. great. Definitely. Uh, especially if it also, I, one thing that I really wish is that it came with a USB-C cable. Yeah, and another, um, uh, you, I don't know, what do you call those things that have the, it goes into your wall, and there's a USB port, like the USB adapter or USB something. USB hub? No, it's like an adapter. Like, you plug it in, and then you just plug the actual USB-C to USB oh, cable. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, know what like, that's called. That, like, one of those. I think, like, 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 what do you have on your phone, your iPad, stuff like that? Like, if it came with one of those, I think everyone would... Power brick. I, yeah, well, not like a power, like not a brick. You know what we mean when like the Apple yeah. iPhone chargers come out with those little mini bricks that you can yeah. plug in. Yeah, stuff like that. I think that'd be a lot better decision yeah. than having it built in. I mean, not judging. It still yeah. works perfectly fine. Yeah, like, it's just something that we would like to add. Yeah, like I don't want to have to bring this the big brick that it gives you along yeah. with you. I'll, like unplug it from your dock and everything. It's just it's just a hassle. Yeah. So I guess we'll just go right into number three. So number, num num oh yeah, this is you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So number three is Super Smash Bros. One of the biggest games by Nintendo by mm -hmm. far, mm -hmm. and the the Switch is a perfect fit for it. Like yeah. think about it. you could just put it down in tabletop mode, give a Joy-Con to your friend, and just start playing. Like it would work like that, and boom, you got mm -hmm. Super Smash Bros. Like even just a port would be nice. Yeah. But even, like, maybe what they did with Mario Kart, like, a deluxe, a deluxe version. Yeah. Like, just add a couple more things. Mm -hmm. I Yeah. That's all you really have yeah. to say for that. Th that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> one of my dreams, okay? One of my dreams. You know in those trailers when they were doing NBA, they had yeah. all four people sitting in a circle with their switches like that? Yeah. My dream would be doing that with Smash Bros. Yeah, that'd be fun. Having those kind of people, even with just three people, yeah. having, like, a little triangle thing. That would be amazing. Therefore, you could see your own screen. You could yeah. do all of that. Use your own Joy-Cons. I mean, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be fun doing it with four people on one screen. That would be fun, too. Yeah. Anything that would work for them, I would love. Yeah. So, anyways, let's go on to number two, which, uh... <coughs> oh, God, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's about, like, more of the HD Rumble-type games. You know how the Joy-Cons came with that feature? Yeah. With the rumble that they only really included in one of the freaking one two switch yeah. games 
Like, <laughs> like that's so dumb. It, it's honestly sad. Like, they come up with this great technology. Believe me, we've both tried it. It's mm-hmm. great. It's it's so good. Like, mm-hmm. you can actually feel it. Like, like you could feel, like, we're talking about the ball one, what, uh, ball yeah. count, right? And you move the Joy-Con side to side. Yeah. I'll put a clip up right now of it. And, like, you move the Joy-Con side to side, and you could hear the balls and feel them. You could yeah. feel how many, and it's you have to try to guess. Cool. But if they made more games like that that would feature that, I don't yeah. know how they would or anything. Like, maybe that's the problem. They're mm-hmm. trying to figure out stuff on how they could do it. Yeah. I think it would be amazing, because yeah. those features are amazing, and I feel like that if they don't use them, it might go to waste. It's kind of like the PS Vita with the back touchpad thing, you know? It kind of yeah. went to waste. Like, it's just, it's, I, like, I think they have a bigger plan for, like, what it is. Yeah. Like, they showed it, like, it seemed to, like, when they were, when they were, like, talking to the press and everything, they seemed to... Like, kind of show it off, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they definitely seem to sh- kind of, like, showboat yeah. it. That's for sure. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to see it in more types of games. Do you yeah. know what would be really cool? What? If in, like, Pokemon. If, yeah. If they came out with if that on the Switch, that will be an honorable mention for us. Yeah, uh, definitely. Pokemon on the Switch. Uh, that will be a... Uh, that would be amazing if, like, it all of a sudden started shaking. Like, you could feel something going up and down mm-hmm. if there's a Pokemon that was about to appear, something like yeah. that. Or th- the rarity. If That'd it was just cool. kind of not that rare, it'd go, like, once. Yeah. And then, yeah, that would be really sweet. But, like, not saying it's going to happen at all. That, that's what we would hope. But mm-hmm. anyways, enough of that. And let's go on to mentioning a few honorable mentions. Number one. Okay, so number one, this is this has been on a lot of people's list. This is price drop. N- mm-hmm. Like, even just for like the accessories, like not even just generally the console or the games, like mm-hmm. because when people start to like look at buying a Switch, right, they have to look like if they're buying it for a family or something, they're gonna need more controllers, they're gonna need games, they're gonna need accessories, mm-hmm. maybe even another console to satisfy two kids or something. Mm-hmm. Like once you add all of that in, it just gets really high yeah it gets really pricey because i did the deal at ev games there's a wii u trade in and then you mm-hmm. get uh two uh you get 150 dollars off on the switch i did that so excited that it would only be 250 dollars realizing plus two games yeah. plus uh plus the warranty on the screen if it ever broke or something like that all of that added back up to four hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, Canadian, by the way. Yeah, we're say. we're talking Canadian. In America, I feel like that's a good price. Yeah. Keep it at three hundred there, honestly. Mm-hmm. But with four hundred here in Canada, it's not mm-hmm. it's not what you really want. Yeah, we uh, want a lot of our friends said that they'd possibly think about getting the Switch, yeah. only if it was a like, lot cheaper. A lot of our friends just complain, like, "Hey, it's too expensive." Which mm-hmm. I totally agree with everyone. It's mm-hmm. a little overpriced, but like. Pers- the- like, it's you get what you pay for, right? Like, yeah. you get a console, you get a portable. That's what you paid for. Mm. But I do think like e- either just adding a game or dropping the price would help a lot of people's purchase out. Definitely, yeah. I think it'd be really cool, and uh, just yeah, if they could do that, that'd be amazing. Also, mm. what I would like to see if in that is there's lots of people who don't want the dock. Can yeah. don't play if they made one where it was just the screen and the joy cons and maybe the grip yeah i feel like that'd be really cool yeah like i know when i first got it like i didn't even think i would use the dock but i yeah i it, start to but i mean i can definitely see why people don't mm-hmm. want to get it yes definitely yeah, sorry about that i was just okay there's a few text messages <laughs> yeah, sorry about that <laughs> But, yeah, so I think that will do it for this video. If you guys want to see any more videos, like, or anything typed like this, we're going to be doing a lot more of these, hopefully Mm -hmm. a lot more in the future. Summer's coming up soon, guys, so hopefully we can do that. Our summer's a lot later than the American one. Uh, But, anyways, uh, it it ends in, like, June, guys, like, the end of June. That's when it starts for us, like, the 21st or something like that. I think some, like, places in the state have, like, two weeks left. 
yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Especially subscribe yeah. if you want to see uh, more content just like this. We are a brand new channel. Mm -hmm. And also make sure to check out both of our gaming channels. Slothboy, which is Sam, and mine, The Gaming Shuriken. They'll both be in the description below. Yeah. Uh, we upload gaming content on those, like, mm -hmm. decently. And that's what honestly gave us the idea to do this channel. Yeah. So make sure to support us and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, guys. Anyways. Yeah, just P peace out.